so welcome back to my channel if you are new hi i'm jessica and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for making our time to watch today's video so in today's video i'm going to be speaking about how to achieve a flawless i try to make it very detailed but i don't intend to take your time so if it sounds like what may interest you, you better keep on watching. Okay guys, you're welcome back. So I, the very first thing we're going to use today is Davies of Eye Pencil. You know this pencil here especially in nigeria i don't know this is basically what we use because i am the mom of four here based in nigeria so this pencil is very very affordable just about 100 bucks with this and um, i'm going to be using this to achieve a flawless of so first thing first uh, like i need my mirror so I just hope you guys can see me. Right? People do this, but I am not very good at this. So you measure this is usually the beginning part of the house. And then you make an arc just like that. I just hope you can see what I'm doing. Place it like this and then you have a cut here. And then the very last part is the end, just like that. So here you have something like this, the markings. What I did here, I'm going to do on the other side. So first, you place your pencil, your brow pencil here. That's the beginning part and then Want to achieve an arc here, and then at the end, my brow is actually very long. Yeah, there. So that's it. So here, please don't mind the markings on my face. It's looking very shabby right now, but no problem. We'll see how that goes. First, I'm going to sharpen my pencil to really have a very sharp pencil because if you don't have a sharp pencil, you might not really achieve what you want. So, um, I'll just go ahead and do this. Right? Actually, one tip here before you even start doing anything, you just need to make sure you have a nice, neat brow like a cap brow. Make sure all the hairs are intact before you so first that line there i love to start from the beginning some people like starting from the end but i'm not very good at that i like to start from the beginning Maybe I achieve this and then that. I'm good. And now to do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. This particular area is very problematic. For me, I just go from When you're doing this, you just need to be very careful, patient. You know, maybe I achieve this line, the first line here. Okay. The next thing is you push it down like that. And then I will go ahead and uh, 
do the same thing up here I mean on top I don't usually do this but this is the right thing to do Let the lines go straight down just like that quietly yeah that's pretty much how it is so I'll go ahead and um, wipe the lines here and here okay so I don't always get when it comes to this area because I don't always um, fill it up with the brow pencil so this is just how it is here so I will just go ahead and fill this this part in with the brow pencil making it look thicker to my taste here your choice is very very paramount because it depends on what you want if you want it very dark or if you want it very light I love mine to be a bit thick so that it gets so nice so that's just it so I'll go ahead and still wipe the lines because I'm still seeing the lines then there same thing here The next thing you would do is here I will instead of filling it up like this, you just do it this way. Yeah, so that's much of the brown we the pencil so the next thing here now is my concealer I love using Milani so this is actually my foundation but I love using it to you know give myself that sharp cut around my brows just to make sure it looks neat sharp and making me look very sexy as well. that's how um, the foundation looks and that's the shade I use so I'll go ahead and I'll use my brush to um, use this to give myself a very sharp look <laughs> I have two brushes that works for me you can see this it has a sharp edge and this is ordinary brush I don't know but I just love this brush it works perfectly well for me <laughs> I'm supposed to use this but I think I'm going to put it this so let's see how it goes I'll just take a little of this I'll just use it to cut
I'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Blend it into my skin. this area because I feel this side is a bit light Actually, they are all trying to join together as if this is 2020. <laughs> I will just use this to separate them and then I will just clear it off a little just to make sure it still looks very natural. I just want to achieve a very natural look so that you don't see where the concealers are or the foundations are, just making sure it looks very natural as natural as possible so that's just how it is do you like my look do you like the brows are you going to try this 
technique or do you think there is something that I am leaving so I'll just go ahead and um, finish up my makeup off camera so see you guys when I come back so guys this is pretty much how it looks right now so uh, if you loved my video please give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up just like this you know and please if you haven't subscribed like you've been watching me for a very long time and you have not subscribed <laughs> oh my goodness why but why 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 have you joined this family for pricing you want me to start crying you want me to start feeling down i feel please come on join this family click on the subscribe button down below and And you will see a bell notification just by the side. Click on the bell notification so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. So this is how I look. This is just the after look. 